Yo, what's up, y'all? Today I'm gonna be doing Pixelmator tips and tricks. Uh, sorry for not uploading so long, it's literally been a month, but uh, I've been having to focus on school and just other stuff. Um, but without further ado, let's just get into it. Um, so, as I just said before, I'm doing Pixelmator tips and tricks. Today I have one, two, three, four, I have about five, uh, and some smaller ones. Um, and if you guys want another like this episode of this, um, just let me know down in the comments below. But let's get right into it. So, first, obviously, you just want to have your uh, canvas. All right. So now that you're in, the first one is going to be layer select. So this one, I would just recommend getting uh, a render. So I guess I'm gonna just go with this one. And all of these will be helpful when making like uh, banners, headers, thumbnails, all that stuff. But I'm just going to be doing it in like this more experiment way here. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is how to select a layer. Um, and this one will be used in some of the other tips and tricks. So obviously when you go into Pixel Layer, there's no way to just straight up select a layer, which is really annoying, right? Um, I wish there was one like right here on this little bar that pops up, but there isn't. There is no way to just select a layer. So the way that I do it, I would recommend going to format and then filling, oops, filling the layer as one color. Go to select and color selection. I always just put it on add to, that's a habit and it's a good thing to do. And bam, and you can turn off the fill and now you have more or less, you basically, you've selected the layer. Always make sure it's a color that's like not similar to the background. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to get that first one out of the way. And now I can go to the next one that, the next ones that all use this. So now deselect. Now I'm going to do an inner glow. Now I have a whole tutorial on this, um, but I'm just going to be doing it quickly here and also showing a different way of doing it for more lighting. So you want to duplicate. I would just hide the first one just because fill, duplicate the filled layer, put on a stroke of what, uh, actually the color doesn't matter. Perfect, don't hide it. Uh, go to color select, select the main color. Duplicate that, merge it with here. Put it in front. Click on the inside of the selection, delete. Make sure you're on the filled layer, uh, I mean the stroke layer. Turn off the fill. You can make this whatever color you want. I'll just make it a uh, darker blue, I guess. Put on blur and do it however much you want. Then duplicate the stroke layer. Delete the, the before one, if that makes sense. And deselect. And here you have a perfect inner glow. And that's part of the reason why I did the layer select first. It just shows it. Um, a good uh, blend mode for glow is linear dodge, but we'll get more into that later. Uh, so now I'm gonna do what merging with blank layers can do and how it's very helpful. Uh, this one is better shown with text. So let's just go quickly and get some Here's some text I have. Let's fill it. Make it red. Here we go. Now, right now, if you were going to darken, it wouldn't do anything. Uh, right now, I'm swiping on the screen. It's not doing anything. That is because the layer is on fill. But you do want to keep its color because if you take it off fill, you can darken it but it's white. So how to keep the color and take it off fill is to create a blank layer and merge it with this one. And now if you go to darken, it works. Well, uh, you can't do it on the brightest of a color, but I just go into curves, put it down a little. Now it works. Curves also doesn't work, by the way, um, when on fill, just anything that changes the color, doesn't work at all 
when you're on fill. Uh, uh, the reason being is that, you know, it's going to fill it with whatever the color is, right? So you see, now I can do it, right? It's gonna fill it with whatever the color is supposed to be. So it's not going to work because um, it automatically fills it. So just to demonstrate that, here it is in fill again. Uh, another thing you can see is that uh, this little icon and on the left where the layers are still stays the same even when you fill it but it'll change once you make it that color because now it is actually that color and I can do this more in depth in a second episode if you want um, but let's just get into the next one so this is gonna be more about blend modes here I just have a I'll go over a few blend modes and what their uses are so for this one first one let's make the background black you can do that by inverting it let's just get a circle uh, feel it as blue I guess Put some blur on it duplicate that one fill it white and now I'll be showing you guys like I said before which one to use for glow uh, the right one is linear dodge um, that's the one you should use for glow as you can see it makes it look like it's glowing um, you can switch around the color it doesn't have to be white um, like that something like that and one more thing linear dodge can do uh, well I'll get into that after the next one so how to get rid of a black background let's make this white again so let's have a oops if you have something black on a white background you want to get rid of this too the way to do that is to use darken look at that perfect now linear dodge or screen don't work on this and as of right now I don't know any way to to glow at the same time as taking rid of a white background, but darken is the way to just get rid of a white background. Now I'm going to show you guys quickly. Just say you've got like a PNG or something. Here's my old watermark, right? It's still my profile picture, but it is my old watermark. Now, right now, it has a black background, right? But I want to get rid of that black background. Uh, let's make the background black again, actually. To demonstrate better, or best way to demonstrate would be to make it like blue, or red, or just something different, right? The blend mode I would want to use is screen. Screen gets rid of a black background. Look at that, completely gone. Um, now it doesn't work on everything because it all it just gets rid of darker colors. If that makes sense. Um, can work on colored stuff and you can make stuff colored when you're on it like now this is more blue but it also makes the blue part uh, a lot more transparent because it doesn't it doesn't just get rid of black it gets rid of darker colors now if you want to let's say get rid of a black background and also glow at the same time you can use linear dodge for that too do a probably short example of this blur this oops blur this and then let's say let's say I have an effect right that I want to blur with something uh, that I want to make glow but it has a black background on it right like that oops like this if I screen oops if I screen it's not going to do the glow but linear dodge also gets rid of darker colors linear dodge look at that got rid of the black background and it also glows now, lighten doesn't work, by the way, for getting rid of black backgrounds. It makes it look weird. Screen, though, like I said before, works. Here's the difference. And now, for the opposite of 
screen. If you how I cut top out, this is more for cover art. Uh, I guess let's just use one of my little baby assets. This is more for more complicated stuff, or else you can just use uh, color selection. But here we have more of a complicated background. Color selection doesn't really work on this. Now I don't want to go too in depth, but the way I do it is I recommend making about six or five percent. That works, and I just cut them out. I just cut around, cut out around them. I do not uh, completely get rid of everything around them. I just do a line to cut them out with the eraser, right? Obviously, I'm not doing a good job right now. But that's because I'm just trying to explain quickly. So look at this, ready? That's just, bam. Obviously you want to do it, as I've been saying, more in depth if you're actually doing it and you want to cut it out good, but just make a line around them. Right? Bam, right? Now it doesn't look like you cut out, but this also kind of goes back to our layer select. Fill them as a color. Oops, sorry. You gotta cut all the way around. I don't know why I didn't do that. Bam, right? Fill, color select, and select their area. Now you duplicate that layer, delete the previous one, deselect, take off the fill, and bam, now you've just got the person and you didn't need to get rid of that whole background manually. So that's going to do it for my first Pixelmator tips and tricks videos. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the long break, but uh, I definitely needed it. Um, and I hope you guys liked this video, and I'll see you in the next one.